In this reaction, we have copper two chloride plus sodium carbonate. And this is a double displacement reaction. The copper and the sodium atoms, they switch places. Let's count the atoms up on both sides and balance the equation. We have one copper, two chlorines, two sodiums. And because we have this carbonate here, and then on this side, again, it stays together in the reaction. It's a polyatomic ion. We're gonna count the carbonate as just one thing. That makes it a lot easier. So we have one carbonate. On the product side, we have one copper, one Cl, one sodium, and then just one carbonate. It looks like all we need to do to balance this equation is double the chlorine and double the sodium. And we can do that by putting a two as our coefficient in front of the NaCl. So now we have one times two. That gives us the two sodium atoms. Those are balanced. And then for the chlorine, one times two. That gives us two. So now everything is the same on each side of the equation. This equation is balanced. Often when we have these double displacement reactions, it's helpful to count the polyatomic ions as just one item if they stay together on both sides of the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CuCl2 plus Na2CO3. Thanks for watching.